evening well oh, or morning it's already 1 a.m. <laughs> oh my goodness um, you know I just got into uh, painting again and uh, yeah I was watching um, Monet uh, and, and I've just got this thing on now that's showing his pictures and he just went through so many different things you can see how his style is changing as it goes now I have never really looked at Monet's work before you know I haven't really looked at a lot of artists just haven't <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm sitting here watching this, this thing where they're just rolling his different paintings and you just see the difference in styles and uh, oh yeah some of them are very very simple and then some of them are really complex now I'll have to watch this again because really as this was rolling I was more focusing on uh, I took a picture so when this started, one of the things about Monet, it showed his garden. And uh, I got my inspiration from that. Okay, here's, here's his garden, okay. Um, that's his garden. And so, you know, I don't try to duplicate it but it gives me inspiration, the, the feeling of it. Now this one is a four by four. I just did this in oil. And uh, there you go. That's what I got from looking at Monet's garden um, with the water and the, you know, the purples and the, that kind of a greenish, blues and purples and uh, so that's my take on looking at Monet's garden and uh, yeah I'm really enjoying is this is such a soft feel now the other one I did tonight I'll, I'll go get it it's it's definitely not the soft feel this, the other one was uh, done with the, um, the uh, acrylic, the acrylic wash. Let me go get that one. So this is the small, the three by, as you can see, the difference in feeling here's this one with the deep reds and 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 then the one from Monet's garden is the soft soft colors and very um, yeah totally a different feel to it there's the gouache acrylic and this one is oils done in oils so, um, yeah, just a really different feeling to them. And I'm trying to decide what I like best. Now, like I said, it's just, I don't know, maybe I should stick with one of them because both of those, you work with them differently. Now the oils, like I said, that one is so soft feeling, very soft. The other one is not. Now I love these bright colors, you know. I really enjoy these bright colors, but then again, I have to, you know, I do enjoy this soft as well. Just a, a totally, this one, you've really got to see it up close to catch the different colors, the purples and greens and, and things, because it is softer. 
just a much softer feel. So anyway, on that note, I'm going to sit here. I should roll this back and start from the beginning, but I think I've got like, he did a lot of painting. And I watched a thing today about his life. He was just not successful for a lot of years. Um, which is amazing because his work is, is, you know, yeah, the more I'm getting into painting and finding my style, it is more kind of a little bit going towards that, that kind of, you know, impressionist, not so, you know, I don't want to do things that really, I don't know what you call it, what I do, you know, but I like the feeling of a lot of Monet's work. You could feel the motion, you know, of things. Everything is not so precise. The things are not all so precise, and that's what I like about it. It's, uh, now I see why they call it impressionist. It's an impression of something. It's not a duplicate of it, but you get the feeling of it. I like the colors, the way he uses colors, and and some of the, the um, Yeah, the way he does his strokes. Now, when you look at his stuff, you can see a lot of different styles. The way he was painting, it really went through some huge changes. Now, the, the one that's up there now is more of a, a real, a realistic and then the next one is more this impressions you know yeah I like that one with the he's got one with the tree that's blowing and oh that one's nice with the yeah I'm gonna have to spend some time with this because I really want to get into the emotion of it, the feeling of that, you know, the way the colors are there and the, you know, the whole thing of it, the brush strokes and the colors and all of it uh, translates out to this feeling. Yeah, very interesting. So <laughs> anyway, I could probably go on about this all night because I am getting really kind of um, very, very interested in his work. Simply because, you know, well, well for one reason, I could see he was going there and trying to find his style. And that's what I'm working on, trying to come, come to my style, you know. Um, now, I say, when I see his more impressionist things, that's more of the feeling that, you know, um, I kind of want to get to with my work. I don't want it really realistic. I want it more of the color and the motion and that, that type of thing. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm going to leave this here. <laughs> this is maybe not so interesting for you, <laughs> my talking about this. What the heck did I get over here? Oh, I know what this is. It looks like gum, but it's not gum. I don't chew gum, so I'm going, what is this sticky stuff? It's the stuff you put the, the uh, art on the wall with. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. I'm going to put these back over there, this one, and then this one I'm going to have to leave sit for a while because it's oil. I have to remember I cannot touch these because they will 
smear, these are done right away. Um, they, uh, they dry as you're working on it. They're, they're done. By the time you're done painting, they're already dry. Oil is another story. So I've got to remember not to touch these for at least two, three days. <laughs> That's going to be a tough one. I'm going to leave this here and I'll see you online. Oh my goodness.